zoom out a bit with the left trigger. Yeah, you can see where we started, I think. Yeah, there you are. We started down here on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen right here, and we just made our way over. You can see the enemies that have already that already appear on our map. Yeah, what are the, yeah, the red icons down there. Which is kind of interesting, I'll be the first to admit. And we're going to try and take over these towers down here. We, won't, we aren't able to move anymore because we've already used all of our pieces in this turn. It's a chess-based system. Actually, it's not even a chess. Like, everyone, everyone on your turn moves once, then all the enemies move. So in that sense, it's, there's no agility system. There's no Final Fantasy Tactics-like system where the person who goes next is, could be from any team based on the speed. It's just your team, then their team, etc. and so forth. Okay, I'm pressing the left and right bumper and no one's ready to go. So everyone's already moved. So we can just press, hold down the X button and end the turn. Let's see what happens. I took a few hits here. But I haven't blown up, apparently. Nope, I'm not dead yet. So it's our turn. Who's still on the field? So we have these two guys. Yep, they're still on the field. Okay, so first things first. Things first. Get that out the way. Yes, yeah, so let me take over this place first. Should be able to take over this place, people. So I can't take it over yet, huh? Pretty sure I moved up. Just a second. And what else can I do? I can move this over to the container. So I got an extra piece. The hunter. That's my hunter, never mind. It's this piece right here. Uh, he can actually get a shot in on this guy. This might work out after all. Okay, so he'll, he'll flank the back. And what else? See if I can move into this square, this hex. Guess I can't. So how do I take over this place? Maybe it's the next turn. I'm probably not even doing it right. I did this before. I just don't remember how I did it. Okay, first things first. There we go. Let's get these pieces over here in the back to move up to the front. Are there, are there any other pieces on this board that are ours? Nah. No one who's back here. Let's move this guy up. Where can he go? Can't go close enough to those enemies yet. But I can, I can, I, he can be a flanker then. So he can't attack, but he can flank. So let's get him next to this dude. Yeah, that's good. So he'll be topside. He'll, he'll provide an attack bonus. Okay, let's see. This guy... He can attack the bandit. I don't want to attack a bandit though. It's gonna be an, it's gonna be a counter attack. I mean, I can still do it that way because we'll be able to get the bonus from the flankers. Yeah, I can't get close enough. Okay, so I can't get close enough to the infantry units. I'll just make him a ranged attacker. So he'll attack next. This bandit can be over here. Yeah, I don't think... I don't... I don't that's, this would be interesting. Can I get a flanker bonus if I move this guy right next to an adjacent unit? I'm not sure I can. It might be cool... It might be cute to know if I could, but I, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to save the game and muck around with that later. Like, I'll save the game, do a test, see what my results are, then load my previous game save and see what I get. But I'll probably be for another research stream. So this needs to be, yeah, we need to get him away from the other dude. Okay. So, so we'll be able to get an attack on the infantry unit. This guy, can he move the other side? No, but he can be a attacker. Alright, this guy's still ready to go. He's too dangerous, to, it's too dangerous to have him do an actual attack. He could probably be a flanker though. Nah, he can't get behind him. Gosh darn it. 
Can't get behind. No reason to overcomplicate things. So this guy will attack first. Let's just surround him. Yeah, this guy can flank both of these guys. Yeah, Bandit can't do anything. That's okay. So I'll have this guy flank both of these guys. So it'll be a bonus for both of those enemies. I can't undo that. That's unfortunate. This guy, can he, get, he can't get behind, but he can do a direct assault. So that'll be fine. Yeah, if he can't if he can't be a flanker, then he's more useful hanging back. Actually, he can get the uh, he can get the yeah he can get those uh, healing units. Yeah, let me see if he can get those healing units. Yeah, I'll just hang back and get the healing units because he can't do anything. He can't get behind those guys. Yeah, that's a that's a wreck. Okay, so let's see if we can get behind them. Okay, and he'll go up here and get his health back. This guy will do a ranged attack. This guy will be a flanker. Flanker. Ranged attack. This guy can roll up on a dude. So he'll be a he'll be a flanker and an attacker. Okay. So who else do I have left? So I have two bandit attacks I can do. So that's fine. That'll be good enough for now. So let's wipe out someone. Let's wipe out... This guy's just a flanker. That's okay. This guy can attack and then run. Done. Outstanding. Alright, so that means he can move, right? Yeah, he can move. Alright, so I guess he could flank somebody else. No, he can't flank that other guy. But that's okay. He's made his point. So that was a complete waste of time. Can this guy get behind? Nope. So we can't get another attack in. No, that was a waste of time. That's okay. I made my point. I can attack all. I can kill all these enemies without without a problem. Okay, strongest enemy should attack next. So that would be this guy. The pincer should finish them off. Boom. All right. Next order of business. Can I blow this thing up? Probably not. We'll we'll, we'll prepare to blow it up. How about that? Yeah, so we'll get these two guys in front of the depot so we can finish off these dudes. Finish off this depot. Can't move. Sue so can move. This guy can move. Actually, who needs health at this point? Yeah, maybe no one here. Nope. Nope. Nah. All right. So we'll bring this down over here and see what happens. We'll bring up. We'll bring a bunch of guys in the area and see what happens. Next, you yeah, will surround this radar station and see what happens. Cause I'm curious if I can surround this radar station and bring it down. Okay, we're done. Hold X to end the turn. Okay, let's see what happens. Is anyone else near us? Nope, they're not moving in on us yet. So I guess we need enemies to surround this base. That's weird. Alright, can I take it over yet? Nope, zoom out a bit. So I need one on each side, which is fine. Okay, so I'll, bring, I'll need one on top and one on the bottom. This doesn't make any kind of sense. Just a second. Yeah, I'm missing something here. Oh, infantry needs to do it. Okay, so this guy needs to do it. That's the problem. I need to get infantry in here to do this. If I thought so. Just a second. There we go. Okay, so infantry got him. Okay, uh, uh, menu. How does artillery work? What do I need to know about it? You need to deploy artillery before it can be used in combat. This will use up the Joker action. 
This means Cotillo can never fight in the round in which was deployed, but only in the next one. Okay. To deploy or dismount artillery, select the matching option in the circle. Meaning this game artillery has long attack range, but it's one of the units. It's one of the units that you. So it's what has a consumable ammunition resource. So if you shoot someone long range, you're using up one of your one of your um re, one of your consumable ammo resources. So you don't have unlimited attacks like the the other guys I've been using so far. You have a limited ammunition resource. So we'll get back to that a bit later. The, that's a kind of a complicated unit, so we'll try to make sense of it. In the meantime, this guy that's a bandit. So basically I need infantry to do this. Yeah. Let me check on something. Uh, okay. Hunter, light units, trains, buildings, naval units. I'm using the left and right triggers. Infantry. Infantry bots, mine, sniper, technician, soul infantry, gunner, hacker. Yeah, so I have to use an infantry bot to take over these things. Which I was not aware of at the time. Okay, press press the D-pad, choose this icon over here, yep, and we can deploy some tanks and artillery. Here's the problem. Well, I don't know what this 8, oh, this 8 out of 8 means uh, ammo, right? Oh, so I can give the ammo to somebody else? I'm using the D-pad, by the way, select, see this little 0 slash 8 icon right here? Well, I can give myself more ammo like that, or less. No, so I can do all or nothing, huh? All right, so check out the, uh, the the missile icons next to this square that says eight by eight. See, now I have eight missiles, so I can give these to somebody else apparently. That's we never thought of that before. I can't repair because you can see to the right of this icon where the missile icons are. It says zero. Above that, you see a little box. It says zero plus zero. So. I have no repair resources in this depot. So if someone needs help, I can't repair them here. So you can ignore the Y icon on the right side of the screen that says repair. Just ignore that. It's underneath the artillery um, art window. Ignore that repair icon. But I can press X to unload this artillery outside. Yeah, let's do it on the road. That makes perfect sense. Out of ammo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Those are all the... Uh, Things that was those were all of the um, those were all of the ammo switches that I turned on and off while I was inside the depot. So that's that's not very that's not very user friendly. Okay, uh, this Cerberus tank. Uh, what do you, I forget what kind of tank it's called, but it's a tank. So it's for straight up opponent dudes. So let's unload one of these. I can press select and we can just press X to unload it. and We'll dump it on the road. I wish I could dump it on the road. We'll put it out here. I, I shouldn't have surrounded the base with a bunch of <laughs> with a bunch of um, quick units. Okay, so I need infantry to take over this base, right? D-pad? Question mark? Where are the depots? These aren't in alphabetical order. That's so bizarre. Okay, depots can contain units, resources, and ammunition. Select the depot, open the circle menu, select the corresponding option, select the unit and depot window unload from your depot. Spaces that you unload the unit aren't to display after unloading the unit. Can, after unloading the unit, it cannot perform any more actions during this round. Okay, so I unloaded the artillery, can't use it until the next turn. Unloaded a tank, can't use it until the next turn. Fine. You can repair units if you have enough resources. As you saw, there was zero on the right-hand side of the depot screen, so I got nothing. Can't repair. To transport resources of ammo, move a transport unit into the depot and transfer the resources and ammunition to the transport unit. You can also transport mines or transport units or use the mines to equip okay, fine. If building if a building is captured, all the units inside the building are captured too, so yeah, I understand that. How can I repair my units? Uh, here. You can repair units using one of the following methods. On the map, you can drag them towards the space that contain repair chests. You saw those earlier, I'll point those out again. Repair them inside a depot, factory, or HQ, but requires resources. Move a repair unit next to the damage unit, but I don't have a repair unit yet. Resident vehicles can repair themselves using wreckage or destroyed enemies. I don't have a, rec I don't have a resident vehicle, I don't think. Um, when advancing a level, units can be healed or repaired up to max. Okay, so when I 
upgrade. In fact, I haven't done any upgrade yet. Units do not lose upgrade points. Units do not lose experience or upgrades when you repair them. That's why it makes sense to repair a unit instead of getting a new one, even though it costs the same. Yeah. Factories. You can build invaders units on light and heavy factories. And in harbors and airports. I need to figure out how to take over an airport. How can I use mines without blasting my head off? <laughs> That's cute. Uh, how can I camouflage units? Self repairing resident units. I'm supposed to win against my weak resident vehicles. What are resident vehicles, actually? But they have an advantage. They can repair them. Yeah, move your damaged residents over the wreck. Self advantage and doesn't block the space anymore. Okay. Uh, play remaining actions. Request reinforcements. How can I load it? Taking the long units, trains. Using the left and right triggers now. Uh, tips and tricks. Keep Y pressed down to display the status of your units. Use the left and right bumpers to rotate through those units to stuff an action available. Like cycling through units in Civilization. If you remember that game. Press X to display the... Wait, press... I can't read that. Press X, I guess. To display the attack ranges of all your units. That's very hard to read. It might be the A button. Each unit contains a... Yeah, each unit located adjacent to an opponent. So every every unit, every ally surrounding an enemy provides you with a flank bonus of 25%. So now I know. Assu I don't... Again. Do... Do bandits count? Because remember, bandits are ranged attackers. If I surround an enemy... Like for instance, I'm supposed to get a 25% damage bonus. If I use a bandit as a flank that's adjacent to the enemy, do I get that 25% bonus? I don't know. That might be interesting to figure out. Because remember, they're ranged attackers, but if one is just sitting there right next to the enemy, does it count as a flank bonus? Don't know. An, opponent, an opponent's units jam the movement of your ground units. Yeah, so basically, if I remember before, I couldn't circle around to get to behind an enemy because it was blocking my movement. So, that makes sense. All unit upgrades in the game. Improved firepower, damage increased by 25%. Improved armor, damage sustained reduced by a third. Improved engine movement. Improved engine increases movement range by a third, stuff like that. Unlimited counterattacks per round sounds great. We're not going to do that first. Blitz is great. Unit fires first when it's attacked. So if the enemy attacks me, I get the first strike. So that means, if let's say a unit attacks me. Instead of, what usually happens is that the enemy attacks, I'm weaker, so I give a weak counterattack. But if in a blitz skill, if the enemy attacks me, I strike first, and I weaken the enemy, so the enemy's attack will be weaker. Because I get first strike. Because with the blitz isn't a counterattack. The blitz is first strike. So that's really interesting, actually. Okay, let me see what I can do about taking over depots. That's the part I didn't understand. Capturing a building. Here we go. Infantry, infantry units, specifically, can capture enemy buildings. Move into a space next to the building and have them attack the building. Okay. A technician can capture any type of building with a single tap. It's going to be destroyed. Okay. Speed things up. You can use several different infantry units to attempt a joint attack. Okay. So I need to move the infantry units into position here. That's disappointing. So let's move these let's move these other vehicles out of the way because I need infantry to do this. Lead does the flying, infantry does the dying. Uh, let's see. Can't move this. Yeah, so I gotta move this is so this is not infantry. What do we call this, by the way? What kind of unit is this? It's a light unit, so it's technically not an infantry unit. Can I blow up this radar here? No, I can't. So why is this radar here? Well, maybe another type of unit can blow it up. Do we have any more infantry? Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a a ways to get there. Any more infantry? Yeah, all the way over here. So I have to re after uh, re after replenish him anyway. Okay, so I wonder if I can take over this harbor. 
That'll be good to try the next turn. Uh, let's see. Anyone else need health? Not really. We're doing pretty well. Alright. So who's next? Infantry. Uh, sorry, this is the archer. Let's just move him close and see what happens. Because I can't take this place over. I'm just curious to see what we can do. Alright. Yeah, so these are mobile units. So we'll keep these guys ready because there's not much they can do right now. What they can do is they can kind of prep. They can prepare for the enemies that are off in the distance. So that'll be good. Yeah, they'll prepare for an enemy that's coming a bit later. Let's move these guys out of the way because eventually we're going to need some tanks up in here. So I'm not going to get into a fight. I'm just going to keep them ready. Bandits. Got to move the bandits out of the way. They're going to need to hang out behind our tanks, though, which is the other problem. So I can't do anything with that radar. It's actually incredibly disappointing. Infantry. That's already taken over. Right here. Can I take it over? No. Next turn. See, I'm not going to press my luck here. We'll just keep them right there. Yeah, that can be right there. No more units can move. End in the turn. Okay, so they didn't move. So they're going to wait until we get across the bridge before they start attacking us. So that's actually pretty good. Can I take this over? Let me save my game and find out. Okay. Need another turn? Need another turn. So I can't take it over yet? Let me check on that. Yeah, I need another turn to wipe it out. So I need another infantry to take that over. So let's, let's take over this one first. So I finally... I didn't, I didn't take it over in, uh, before I started recording, so... This is my practice. So I took this over in one turn. Okay, so that's the point. So the harbor needed two turns to go down, and the regular depot needed just one turn. So yeah, see on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, see the little blue and the red icon next to each other? So I've already weakened it by one pip, but I need one more attack to bring it down. So if I had two infantry units, I could have taken it over already. But I'm only using one, so that's okay. I'll do it the next time. I'll bring this guy into position. And I can move him again, but I can't take it over yet, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll be prepared for next time. Let me get rid of this. Okay, uh, Depot Invaders. Well, I guess we're the Invaders. D-Pad. Select the box. No resources here either. But we can unload all of our resources here. So we can unload this artillery. I kind of want to put it on the road. Let me do that later. Let me get these guys out of the way. You, get out of the way. So we'll dump you on the road. And we'll dump him out of the way. So no one needs any health. Is that it? No, this guy needs health, but he's an infantry bot. I can move him into a, a repair area. Yeah, we'll move him into this spot. So he'll repair himself, and now we're full strength with all of our units, it looks like. Yep, we look good. Okay, we're going to need that Cerebus to move into position, because he's going to lead our attack on the bridge. That's my logic, anyway. I, 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 screwed, it. I screwed up the uh, bridge assault last time I played before I started recording, so it'll go better next time. Okay, uh, D-pad, choose the box with the D-pad. We can unload the artillery on the road, because we're going to need that on the bridge. Oops, wrong guy. Okay, uh, D-pad, box, unload the artillery. That's not the road. Alright, fine. D-pad, box, 
select with the A button. Now press X to dump it right there. So they're done. The bandit will be moved into position near the road. Doesn't need to be on the road because we need to get the tank in front of the road first. So let's move them over here. Yeah, you can just hang out over here. Now you... Yeah, he'll just stay in front to make sure they don't get cocky. We'll probably end up ending our turn anyway. Bandit. Yeah, let's get the hunter. Well, he's going to be a lead unit anyway. Okay, let's get him over into position. Off the road. Cerebus can't move. The hunter can get over here. So we'll get him into position. We'll get him over here, why not? So we'll have a bunch of guys waiting on the other side of the bridge for him. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. You have to get the bandit off the road. Alright, Cerebus is going to need that road. So I think we're ready to go, kid. Next, next turn. Let's make sure I've um, deployed everyone from these depots. D-pad. Yep, that one's out. No resources in this one, are there? Nope, no resources in here. So this place is dead. We've, we've, we've stolen all the booty from this depot. And no booty in this depot either, so these places are of no use to us anymore. But we got the units out of them, and we got a container. An extra unit from the container over there. Okay, um, next. Attack. Move into position and attack. We've taken it over. We're taking over the harbor. Yes. yes. This might work out. Wait. Someone trying to attack us on that bridge? No. They're not close yet. Yeah, they haven't gone across the bridge yet. This might be mines. Those mines over there? What are these? Yeah, they're on the uh, tactical map. See that? Those little X's right there to the, to the right of the bridge. And there's one over to the left of the bridge. I don't know what that means. Are those shoals, maybe? They might just be debris and I can't cross it. Which wouldn't be out of the question. D-pad, box. Outstanding. Okay, what are these? Select. What kind of unit should be built? Oh, but it requires resources that I don't have. So we're not going to worry about that yet. Okay, so we'll save our game and then we'll have some fun with this. I probably should have stayed before I took over the base, but that's okay. Alright. Uh, let's see, what are my options here? I can probably get these guys ready with the hoverboards. Or the hover the hovercraft, whatever they're called. Just a sec before I, before I do that. Okay, who's going first on the Cerebus? Well, assuming I can attack with the Navy, then that means I can whittle these guys down here from the east side of the bridge. So here's my thought process before I start watching well, before I start. So my thought process is I may be able to use hovercraft to weaken these guys, then use the tanks to flank them on the western bridge. Menu button. We'll see if that becomes a legitimate strategy in a second. I might have to change it up before I deploy this hovercraft. How can I load and unload a transport ship? Harbors enable you to build and repair ships. In addition, your transport ships can land there by moving them onto the harbor. All units that are inside the ship will automatically unload and then inside the harbor. Okay, so it's like civilization in that sense. You you draw you fly you you sail into a city and everyone who's on your ship automatically gets dumped into the city once you dock. If you had if you had three caravans on your ship when the ship docked, all three caravans are now on the are now on land inside the city. And in that game, you needed to put the camels the caravan camels back onto the ship if the ship left the harbor. So, stuff like that. Anyway, we'll get to that later. Uh, harbors enable you to build and repair ships. In addition, your transport systems can land there by moving them onto the harbor. All units that are inside the ship will automatically unload into the harbor. Hmm. Unload units to the transport ship. We don't have a transport ship. The ship will need to be located on the water in the field in front of the harbor. If you want to move a unit from the harbor onto the ship, you can use the harbor's unload command. Okay. If the unit isn't inside. So it's like civilization in that sense, too. You need to actually put, you need to load people onto the ship. If the unit isn't inside the harbor, you can simply move onto the ship with the move command, okay? 
It's important that the transport ship is located in the correct field because units can only enter the ship in that place. <laughs> so technical. You gotta move pieces around on a map, kid. Menu. Transport units. What type of transport units are they? How do they work? There are different types of units for land, which is the mule trans. The land transport units are called mules. The water units are called Poseidons. The air units are called Sting. And uh, we have a hovercraft, too. Uh, they actually typed, uh... <laughs> anyway. They have an alligator. To transport a unit. Move it onto the transport unit. Unload a unit. Select the corresponding option in the circle menu. This will open a window showing all units that are being transported. Okay. Select. Uh, okay, so circle menu is the D-pad, I believe. Select the unit to unload it. Unload the units can't perform further actions in this round. Okay. Treat the trait. The point of transport unit will also destroy all the units that it transports, which makes it which makes well stocked transport units an interesting target. I don't think they'll be able to attack us though. So maybe this is the strategy: is to load up some units onto a hovercraft to go across here, dump them on the other side of the bridge. But the obvious problem with that is. As soon as they leave the ship, they won't be able to attack, will they? So they're just sitting ducks as soon as they get off the hovercraft. So let me do a quick check on that. I'll check the manual see if I even need to do that. So what is this? I can unload this. X. All right. Let's dump it right here. So how does it look? So it can't move anymore. There's the alligator. So what can I put on this thing? Can I put a... Uh... Oh yeah, this is some... I'll save that for later. So I deployed an alligator. I wonder how many of these I can actually deploy. Let me do another one. D-pad, box. Unload. Uh, right. Over here, then. All right, so we have two of these. What can I put on them? Where would I be without you? Ah, uh, let's move one of these on. Infantry bot. D-pad box. There's an infantry bot in here. Unload. So I can unload the infantry bot onto the second hovercraft. D pad. Box. Ah, there's a infantry bot on the alligator now. Okay, so I figured it out. What's that? I don't know what that. Oh, see that? This little square right here. What does this mean? I don't know what this means. Maybe I can give myself more ammo or something. I don't know. See, now I figured it out. Okay. So how about this? Good thing I saved my game. Because I'm thinking I'm going to put the tanks up front. But let's try this. Well, that's uh, artillery, so I'm going to need that later. Uh, let's see. Uh, bandits. Okay. Let's line these guys up, then. That's what you say. How far can I go? Okay, let's get in here. Can I get in here? Okay. D-pad. Harbor. Yep, it made it. And I can unload it onto the first D-pad box. Yep, so now I have two. Okay, so this could be very interesting. Um, so should I just load up the hunters on here? I don't have to. I, got, I saved my game before I went on this cockamamie strategy, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. So we'll keep the bandits here, because we'll need them behind the tanks. Hunter over here. Dump it in the harbor. Okay, so we'll keep one of each on these bridges just in case. In case the Cerebus doesn't go as planned. Can this infantry take over this? Probably can't. Oh, he took over the radar! The infantry took over the radar. See, now I know. Radar. Inventory. Radar units have the highest range of vision in the game. If radar units capture the huge area around it is freed from the fog of war. 
Radar units can't fight, but they can often amount to information advantage toward the opponent. Okay. Okay. So, um, what do we get for this? Well, the fog of war is gone, right? Ah, oh, see? So we got all of that. But apart from that, what did we really gain? <laughs> Not really sure. Oh, you can see the health units on the, uh... You can see the health units over there on the left-hand side of the map. Can I actually highlight those? Kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in on this. There we go. Zoom out. So you can see this health icon right here, but it's not really highlighted. Yeah, and you can see the units I'm trying to select. I can't really select units from the screen. It's actually not very helpful. Yeah, it's not very helpful to select units from the screen. It's just a broad overview. There are a few other units on the southern, southeastern side of the map. Let's see what we can do there. I'll zoom in in the meantime. Okay, so let's get these guys out of the way. We're going to move the priest. We won't be able to attack yet. But we'll get them ready. This guy's in the way. Cerebus, get on the road. Can't go any further. And how far can the priest go? Up here, okay. That's as far as he can go. So we'll make room for him later. Bandits, we'll move you up towards the front lines. We're going to need you behind the tanks, actually. Technically, we might need you on the ship. Because there's going to be one bandit on each bridge, so I'm not sure what else we can do with you. So we'll get you on the boat. There's the other Cerebus, so let's get you on that bridge. We need one for each bridge. Yes, we'll keep you two where you are. That guy is a priest, so we'll move him up. We'll get you on the left bridge. Alright. So we'll get you in position. We're going to need someone in front of you. In fact, we'll probably need you... We'll probably need a tank on the front of the bridge, followed by a bandit behind the tank, followed by a turret, uh, a priest behind the bandit. Because the, uh, the priest here has a range of, I think, 2 to 5. I'll check. D-pad. Select the priest icon. Oh, no, I can't do that. That's how you, in other words, we're in mobile mode. If we press this button, it will deploy the mortar shell. So that means, it's, that means the tank will plant itself in the ground, end its turn, and then on the next turn, it will then be able to fire off a shot. So what you're saying is the priest will no longer move at all. We will plant it in the ground, and end our turn and prepare the turret to fire on the next round. You cannot move and fire in the next turn. That's what the game told us. But we can plant ourselves in the ground, prevent ourselves from moving, in order to shoot. So if you want to shoot, you have to plant yourself in the ground. You're committing to either moving or shooting. You cannot do both. Fine. I understand. I did this a couple of times, but it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of it. I did save my game before moving all these units around. I'm just curious what we'll be able to do. Okay, those guys are going to stay put. Staying put. Staying put. Yes, I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, but we have to go to the harbor first. Let's go to the harbor and end our turn. Uh, D-pad box. Okay, so we'll deploy. Let me see what we have on each ship before I start deploying these things. We have nothing on the first gator. Really? Nothing on the first gator? Let's get on the first gator. Nothing on the first gator. And we have infantry and bandit select. So we have a bandit and infantry on the second gator. Okay, so what do we put on the second? So what do we put on the front gator? So we already have a bandit on the first gator. Actually, I think we have a hunter on the first. Let me confirm that before I start jumping to conclusions here. Because I only have two units I can put on this thing. Alligators. So we have a hunter. So it's a light unit. So that means you should probably put another a hunter on the on the on the nearby gator, on the gator on the bottom, the one closest to the harbor. So we'll put one of these. 
unload on the bottom. It will unload that there. Alligator. Yep, we have a hunter on the gator. And can we put anything else on the other gator is the question, the one on top. I want to see the bottom right hand corner of the screen. See the little shield where it says harbor? There's a little shield right there. To the right of the shield is a little white square. I wonder if that determines how many units are inside this harbor. Uh, select, unload. Where do we unload it? So we have to put it on the top gator. We can't put it on the... We have to put it on the bottom gator. We can't put it on the top. So maybe each gator is only allowed to hold two units, maybe? Yeah, okay. So we got the infantry unit on top. And the hunter on the bottom. And of course the bandit's on the bottom because it has to be behind somebody. So I guess that makes sense. The bandit has to be behind another unit. So I guess that makes sense. So we have two light units. We have an infantry unit and a light unit on the top gator. That's going to be on the front lines. And we have a bandit. And a, we have a bandit and a hunter on the bottom gator. Which is going to be the second line. The back line. The rear. We'll keep it like that for now. And we'll end our turn. Okay. So we're ready to get guys into position. Let's save our game so we don't have to do all that stuff. This is plan A. Load. So right here, this is plan A. So let's see how we do. If it doesn't work, I'll just reload the game save. And we'll do a new video then. Okay, where's the Cerebus? We're going to have to we're ready to get these guys into position. Got a Cerebus over there. How far can he move? That's as far as he can go. Actually, that's a priest. Just a second. Let me get the Cerebus in front of it. I'll have to wait, doofus. Alright. And get a Cerebus right here. Get into formation. Yep. So we got you on the bridge now. We'll swap. And we'll get the other Cerebus on the right bridge, not the priest. Cerebus. One. That's it for him. We'll need the priest behind him. So we have the bandit behind that one. So we have the bandit behind the Cerebus. And we're going to need the priest behind the bandit. So it'll work out. We'll just have to take our time. Tell you what. We can't move. Let's get the priest out of the way. And we'll get the bandit behind the tank so it's on the road and we're ready to go. We're going to do a quick strike as soon as we line everyone up on that bridge. And let's get another... Okay, tank, bandit, priest. Okay, so the priest is in position on the right side, on the right bridge, the right span. That'll stay put. We'll get the bandits. We'll stay out of the way of the we'll stay out of the way of the Cerebus till it's ready to go. That seems fair. Everyone's healthy, right? Yep, we look good. And we got two gators. We're ready to go. Very shortly. In the meantime, let me get a couple of units in position. Infantry bot. And there. D-pad, box. Can I deploy? Can I unload this on a gator? No, I can't. The gators are full. They can only hold two units. I understand. D-pad, question mark. Actually, D-pad, icon. See what I did there? Uh, let's see. Harbors can produce all kinds of units. Hypercrafts can unload light units on beaches. If you want to transport big numbers, you need a transport ship in a harbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I... See. So a gator can attack as well. That can move on land and sea. It doesn't have a lot of firepower, but it can transport up to two light units. Okay. So it will be able to attack. The alligator is the only unit in the game that can transport units over water and go ashore without a harbor. Okay. Provided there's a shallow coast, the beach. Okay. That allows you to use it for enemy dropping small units on the enemy's doorstep. Improved engine. Okay. So it can attack, but it needs a beach. And it can move, and it can move on land. The question is, if I unload my units, will I then be will those unloaded units then be able to attack without having to wait a turn? That's the interesting part. That's the part I haven't figured out yet. But for now, this will do. 
Okay, get information, we're ready there. Okay, we're gonna need infantry bots on the back side, I suppose. Let's get in position, y'all. Get in that road. There we go. Anyone else? Yeah, that tank is ready to go, so whenever you're ready, folks. It's a hunter, so that can be anywhere. We'll keep him on the side. We'll keep him on the side of the road. Yeah, that's fine where it is. All right. We'll get the gators ready just in case. We'll put them on the road. We'll put them on the on the sea, but we won't have them attack. We'll just have them kind of get out there. Can't go on land yet. Yeah, let's just see what happens if we can get him into position. He can't attack over there. Well, I think he can attack us. Let me check on something. Gun turn. Yeah, that gun turn is going to attack if we get too close. Let's not... Let's not test him. Flip around the back. He can attack us. He can attack us from here, but not here. See the little red icon around that gun? See, here's the gun turret right here. Keep your eye on that gun turret. He can attack us from here, but not here. Okay, that bandit's going to be a problem. Because he's going he's to try and sneak up on us, so let's not get too close to him. So let's hug the bay for a while. Let's hug the bay for a while. So we'll stay, we'll stay in position, we'll scope the place out, but we're not going to get too close. Okay, that guy's going to attack us. He can attack us from there. So basically if we get that close, the gun turret can start attacking us. Yeah, let's stay away from that bandit, so we'll hop over here. Yeah, that's too close. Okay, so that's debris. That debris is going to limit where we can go with this hovercraft. So we'll stay here. Okay, we're ready to end our turn. We'll prepare to move in, cross that bridge on the next turn. I know this seems very complicated, but I'm just trying to explain my thought processes here. Because I didn't need to do all this the last time I played, but, you know, I lost a bunch of vehicles. So I'm trying to play in a way that doesn't lead me to lose any vehicles. Okay, the Cerebus. Here's our tank. Your argument is invalid. Okay, we got a bandit right behind the tank, and we got a priest right behind them. So we'll be ready to advance very shortly. We might be better off suckering all these guys since they got, they got a tank too. This is going to be interesting. Can I get underneath the bridge? Yes, I can. This could be interesting. If I can get, a, if I can, if I can get to the other side of that turret, this might be very interesting. Flip around the side. That sounds good. Huh, you know what? How about we how about we don't cross the bridge? Let's dump these guys over here by the um Yes, dump these guys over here by that Yeah, over there. Let's do that. How does that sound? We'll flank them. And what's going on over here? That's a beach over there, so I could land over there, but let's just Hug this area and see what happens. So I can land here. I'm very fast. I don't have a... Just a second. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the infantry is on the other... Yeah, the infantry is over here. So if I want to take over that um, building on the other side, I need to bring the infantry over here. So I'll tell you what. We'll switch places. All right, so we'll, so we'll bring that hovercraft over here. We'll switch places. He can still dump some units out over there, but he can't take over those buildings. So we can get behind him, though. That'd be, that would be fascinating if we can get behind him. Okay, so you guys stay put. We're going to flank him. It's going to be fun. Can I do anything in here, by the way? 
Got a infantry unit right here. So I guess I can dump a few guys off and then bring another ship out. And then dump the infantry unit on that ship. Which is a possibility. I'm very fascinated to know if I can get behind these guys. That would be really interesting. But in the meantime, let's end the turn. We'll do some recon with these hovercrafts, see what happens. So we'll bring this guy back on the other side. We'll let this guy go over here. Because this guy's got the infantry. So we need infantry to take over those buildings. Let's stay away from the turrets, shall we? Okay, we'll bring this one. I'm kind of hoping he can take that container. That might be interesting. If he can take that container right there. No bad guys over here. I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, I can't. I can't land here. But I can still scope the place out. Yeah. And we can end here. In the meantime, we can wait for reinforcements. Which might be interesting. Wait, someone shot me. Oh, they're attacking the hovercraft. Crap. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, they're attacking us now. They know what's going on. So we got our Cerebus is ready. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, uh, bandits first. Can I flank? Yeah, I can flank. Yeah, I can flank these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flank these guys. That's not a flank. I need. I should have let him cross the bridge. Okay. In the meantime, I can. Let, I can't let him cross the bridge yet. Okay. In the meantime. Yeah, we should let him cross. We should. We should. Okay. What I should have done is let him cross the bridge, and then and then bring them into our pincer attack. So we should have lured him across the bridge. Now I know. Close, but no cigar. All right, first things first. I should have prepared these guys. Yeah, if I had known they were going to attack, I would have prepared these guys. So I would plan our routes. Just a second. So we're planning our routes. Now we can't move. So that's okay. Plant the routes. So now we're ready to shoot in the next turn. In the meantime, the Cerebus will do the rest. Uh, let's see. That it's, it's, uh, we're going to need a Cerebus to take out this ship. So I'll tell you what. Let's get the bandit out there to whittle this dude down. That did some damage. Do it again. Down he goes. So they lost the tank. Okay, let's get the uh, bandit ready. Next one. Okay, he's almost dead. Didn't get him. We can't move, but we whittle him down, so that's good. So we got them. So we got one of those tanks. We have to wait for the uh, flames to die down. I'm still disappointed that the hovercraft took a shot. If I attack from here, this bandit's going to be able to attack me. So let's get creative. Let's... Where's the other... Wait a minute. Where's... Okay, the other hovercraft is over there. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get fancy with this. I don't want to lose the hovercraft. I don't want to lose all the... I don't want to lose everyone in the hovercraft here. Where do I land? Where do I beach these guys? Can't, yeah, I can't beach them over here, but I can get around them. I can get around them, Mike. So let's try this. Darn it. They cut off the bridge. <sighs> so I can't dump these guys on shore. Well, let me try something just in case. If it doesn't work, I'll just reload the game. Unload. Can't unload. Can't unload. So I can't unload it here. Unload. Unload. Nope. Can't unload these things here. Alright, fair enough. I learned the hard way. This thing didn't even need to attack. That's pretty good. That bandit's going to whittle us down. But it can, it can take the hit. But it's going to whittle us down. Because that stupid wreck's going to get in our way. Um, well, that's right. Well, no one can get past the wreck. So let's do this. Let's move this guy out the way. We'll move the Cerebus out the way. And we'll replace him with a regular ship. We'll just... That Cerebus can't... That, that bandit can't do anything to us back there. So can I move this? Yeah, that guy's going to get in the way. 
He can take the hit, though, if that's fine. Now we'll switch. We'll move him out of the way, and we'll switch him up. Yeah, get out of the way, dude. Alright, we'll put the infantry unit right there. Do we want to do that? Actually, no, we'll put this guy in the way. We'll get, he'll get a hit on him. This guy will get a hit on him. Okay, so we can attack. Boom! Down he goes. Because he's going to take a hit from that bandit, but everyone else... He's going to take a hit from the bandit, but um, he'll be in position to attack somebody else eventually. So I don't need to move any of those guys out the way. They're out the way. See, I'm, see, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Probably should have moved that hovercraft until I got rid of these enemies first. I wish I had done that. Anyway. This joker can't move any closer. But we're out of the way of the bandit, and that's what matters. The bandit can't get to us from here until that wreckage goes away. Cerebus is out the way. That's planting its roots. Um, health? Yeah, this thing can't move anymore. Health? Nope. Okay, so this thing has a couple of turns left. Can't get the so I can't get past the debris over here. Where can I unload? I can't unload these guys over here. They're on the edge of the map, so we can't do anything over there anymore. Forget I said anything. All right, so we're in the turn. Okay, so here come the corporate goons. My turn. Alright, this should be interesting. Can I move up here yet? Yes, I can. I can tack this dude head on. Uh, who should, should let the Cerebus go first, right? Yeah, let the Cerebus do it. Then we'll move everyone else out the way. So we'll get around that turret over there. And eventually attack it first. So we'll be fine. Okay, so that can attack next turn. We'll move this guy out of the way. Down here. Just in case. Bandit. That's a bandit on bandit. So let's not get cocky. This guy will attack that guy. Not dead yet, but we got an extra shot on him because of the 25% flank bonus. Okay, bandit can get the next... Well, probably won't, but let's attack this one. Boom. Okay, they lost one. Um, he can't move, so he'll take a hit from the bandit back here. So I'll keep that in mind. What is that? That's an explorer, so that's going to take another hit, too. So that explorer is not going to be able to get in front of the bandit, but the bandit's going to try to take a shot at our tank here, and I can't move it. Um, what about this one? Okay, this guy can't do anything from here, so I'm going to tell, I'm gonna have to tell him to pick up and go. Um, what's the range on this gun turret? Can't see its range. See, the music's kicking in, and it's come out of nowhere. It's kind of unfortunate. Where are my, uh, hovercraft? There we go. There's one over here, but I can't dock them anywhere. Unload? Nope, can't unload from here. Let's see if I can go around. Can't get to the other side, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And the bandit can't shoot me from here, so I'm good. So I'll circle back around. Let's get the... So I can't go over here. I can't unload any of these guys over here. So I'll just tell the hovercraft to circle back around. It'll be fine. I don't want these guys to take pot shots at us from over here. Okay, we're safe over here. Okay, so we can end the turn. Let me just do a quick check. That band's going to take a shot at our Cerebus, so be careful there. I'll move this guy... Can he move? He can't move. He can only shoot, so I'll see if I can get him closer. Okay. 
Can I move them? Can't move them. I'm trying to move this guy for a second. Can't move him. So I guess it has to be the next turn where I can tell him to pick up his gun and leave, I guess. And yeah, this guy can't shoot what he can't see. So if that... Okay, we'll leave him where he is. If that bandit gets any closer to us, gets closer to that wreckage, then we'll be able to take a shot at him. Now we got a regular shot over there. This guy can't. This guy can't attack on this turn. Yeah, so I don't want to make him a sitting duck. Where's our Cerebus? He can move. Okay. So the turret can't get him from here. So we'll move out in front. This guy can step back. Want the band to get close to him. So we'll send him back. Okay, Bandit can move up, but he can't get any closer. He can take a shot from here, but he's a sitting duck. So we'll keep the tank in front of him. And this guy... Okay, he'll be able to take a shot at anyone who gets in front of that Cerebus. So if they get right in front of him, we'll be able to take a shot at him. Okay, now he can pick up his gun and leave. So that was his star skill. He put away his gun, and now he can move again. So we'll get him closer. But he can't be deployed until the next round. So what's hap what happens is, he's done. He, we used his star skill to put away his gun and pick up and plant it. So we, we uprooted him, put away his gun. Now he has wheels, and he moved. So he's done. So on the next turn, we can plant him in the ground again and prepare him to take pot shots at that turret on the other side of the bridge. This one. This one. This one, he, this guy has no star ability yet. See, it's grayed out. It's kind of hard to tell, I admit. I wish they would, I wish they would get rid of it. If they had like a red circle with a little line through it, like a don't sign, that would make that easier to read. So, interface. Come on, people. Help me out. I'm, I'm trying to be constructive here. So this guy can't put away his gun until the next turn. So we'll leave him where he is until that bandit gets close enough to... to until that bandit gets in the range, we'll leave him where he is. Okay, so I think we're done. Yeah, the Cerebus can't attack yet. Bandits can't attack yet. This will stay on the other side of the bridge and just hang out. We'll get him ready eventually. Okay. So we'll end our turn. Where are, the re where are the reinforcements, by the way? See, that band is taking pot shots. Oh, I think I see what he did. So he got the infantry bot in front to shoot at the tank, and he's taking pot shots at that tank. All right, so this bandit can take pot shots at this guy. So we'll be able to do that. So watch this. Um, I don't know what kind of attack bonus I get, but let's do this. Let's have him attack. Oh, he can't attack it. He's to play his gun. Gosh darn it. Okay, watch this. We'll plant his gun. So now he can't move, and he'll be able to move. He'll be able to shoot on the next turn. In the meantime, this guy. Okay, bring the tank out. Okay, can the uh, priest take a shot at this guy? No, he can't. He's too far away. Okay, watch this. Bring the tank out. He won't attack yet. We'll bring the bandit up. He'll get a 25% flank bonus on his attack. Not dead yet. So that means the Cerebus can get the finisher. He's not dead yet. But he won't be able to attack us because he's really weak. So, so we'll, uh, can we move this guy? No, we can't. We'll put up, so we'll drop the gun. We'll put away his gun, drop his wheels, and let him move into position. And then we'll put his... We'll, bring the guns out on the next turn. Same with this guy. 